Namo Buddha, this is Abhinav Gulecha and I welcome you. Uh, this is a short uh, uh, video I am doing on a discourse that I found in my research on yoking and unyoking. Uh, what is unyoking and unyoking? Yoking is basically when you have like two bulls and you know, you join them together to pull the cart. So there is this uh, wooden equipment that joins, you know, both the bulls, the heads of both the bulls, right? So that they can pull the cart. So that is like called yoking, right? And uh, yoking and unyoking. So in this discourse, this is... Uh, a E N Angurita Nyayaka uh, 7.51 uh, the number discourse 7.51 the link to the to the actual discourse is given in the description in this discourse Buddha talks about you know what causes yoking right uh, and what causes unyoking so here Buddha is talking about this obsession or this you know attachment that we have towards our own gender and towards the gender of the opposite sex right so we have these tendencies right we, we, we have, you know they are so hardwired in us that uh, you know we are we attach we are attached by our own gender our own uh, you know gen gender related traits and then we have this obsession towards the gender traits of the other opposite sex right and this is how you know uh, sexual desire arises and you know the whole thing about you know getting married to a person and then you know living a life you know so buddha is talking here about this so buddha was very much in sync with this concept of marriage and you know living a homely life and householder life and all but at some point that you know our sexual desires and the cravings they cause us to do you know you know sexual misconduct which is then creates a karma and which is then that's why buddha said that you know in the five precepts buddha said one of the precepts was no sexual misconduct so here buddha is trying to trying to say that we need to let go of this these ideas uh, about these attachments right these attachments, these attachments, this craving about our own sex and our other person's sex is basically what creates suffering, right? Go back to the noble truth number two, that the cause of the suffering is attachment, craving, right? So Buddha here talks about that uh, uh, male and female, how they get yoked, how, what they do, what they think and how they get yoked. Means yoked is become a pair with a man, woman becomes a pair with a man, man becomes a pair with a woman. So here Buddha says that a woman, so first Buddha talks about a woman, right? How, what a woman does? A woman focuses on her own femininity, right? Her feminine moves, feminine appearance, feminine ways, feminine desires, feminine voice and feminine adornment. She is stimulated by this and takes pleasure in it, right? So she focuses on the masculinity of the others. Masculine moves, masculine appearance, masculine ways, masculine desires, masculine voice, masculine adornment. She is stimulated by this and takes pleasure in this. So she desires to yoke herself on to another. And she desires the pleasure and happiness that comes from such yoking. Sentient beings who relish their femininity are yoked to men. This is how a woman does not transcend her femininity. Similar way Buddha says about a man. A man focuses on his own masculinity. His masculine moves, masculine appearance, masculine ways, masculine desires, masculine voice, masculine adornment. He is stimulated by this and takes pleasure in it. So he focuses on the femininity of others, feminine moves, feminine appearance, feminine ways, feminine desires, feminine voice and feminine adornment. He is stimulated by this and takes pleasure in it. So he desires to yoke himself to another. And he desires the pleasure and happiness that comes from such yoking. Sentient beings who relish their masculinity are yoked to women. This is how a man does not transcend his masculinity. This is how yoking comes about. Right? So Buddha gives very clearly that the dominant, these whole impressions that we entertain, keep entertaining. Right? What we do is that we keep giving energy to these particular traits, these tendencies. Life after life, these tendencies which lie in our unconscious, we keep giving energy to it. We keep giving fuel to the fire. And similar way, we remain in the cycle of birth and death. So if we want to get unyoked, right, we want to get free from the cycle of birth and death, from being attached to a, another person with another, another sex, right, we need to let go, right, let go. So here, how Buddha says, which is let go means unyoking, right. So Buddha says, how does unyoking come about? So it's the reverse. A woman doesn't focus on, his, on her own femininity, her feminine moves, feminine appearance, feminine ways, feminine desires, feminine voice and feminine adornment. She isn't stimulated by this and takes no pleasure in it. So she doesn't focus on the masculinity of the others. Right? She doesn't 
focus on her own femininity and so she doesn't even focus on the masculinity of the others masculine moves appearance ways desires voice adornment she isn't stimulated by this and takes no pleasure in this so she doesn't desire to yoke herself to another nor does she desire the pleasure and happiness that comes from such yoking sentient beings who do not relish their femininity are not yoked to men this is how a woman transcends her femininity in similar way buddha talked about man also right so here what my understanding is that so these traits about being attached to our own gender and being having those thoughts about the other gender right all these thoughts we have but what essentially is that we need to be mindful that these thoughts are coming right so date on a daily basis we need to be more and more mindful of our thoughts and feelings and emotions that these thoughts of desire lust about these attachments obsessions about the gender gender are coming so we need to slowly slowly reduce these obsessions that we have about our gender or other person's gender right and now if those thoughts come and occupy our mind uh, we can let go of those thoughts there are five ways that buddha says how can we can let go there is a separate detailed video on how to uh, stop negative thoughts or how to let go of negative thoughts that uh, detailed video you can check right so we can just remove them from our mind try try to clear the space do not entertain do not brood over those thoughts right third thing i will say pornography right pornography is become a big problem and this is pornography and masturbation right these whole things see masturbation is i will not say wrong but it in moderation if you do that's fine but it takes away the vital life energy that we have right so don't overdo it pornography don't watch because you know you are basically watering the seeds of these tendencies the obsessions that is there in us by watching the pornography right so we can just try to watch these tendencies and let go of these tendencies we have fourth is more and more meditation right more the meditation practice that we do helps us develop that capacity so that we can let go of these things that's our purpose that's our goal in this life to let go of these strong attachments and desires right one another meditation if you have issues with the sexual desire is uh, the meditation a specific meditation on unattractiveness or loathsomeness of the body so that i will try to make a video and post it here on this channel so you can try doing that particular meditation it will help you can also search on youtube and find that kind of a meditation and see if that meditation do, doing daily for like one or two weeks see if that you know helps you right so this is uh, on this particular topic that i thought to speak on i hope uh, it adds value uh, to you in some way uh, do share your thoughts reflections on this particular sutra sutta uh, by the buddha and uh, uh, do share your thoughts reflections feedback in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video नमो बुद्धाय नमो बुद्धाय